C I E T N C E R T presents audio book of mathematics for class 7 chapter 1 integers page 5 1.3 properties of addition and subtraction of integers 1.3.1 Closure under addition. We have learnt that sum of two whole numbers is again a whole number. For example, 17 plus 24 is equal to 41, which is again a whole number. We know that this property is known as the closure property for addition of the whole numbers. Page 6. Let us see whether this property is true for integers or not. Following are some pairs of integers. Observe the following table and complete it. Statement Observation 1. 17 plus 23 is equal to 40. Result is an integer. 2. Minus 10 plus 3 is equal to dash dash 3. Minus 75 plus 18 is equal to dash dash 4. 19 plus minus 25 is equal to minus 6. Result is an integer. 5. 27 plus minus 27 is equal to dash dash. 6. Minus 20 plus 0 is equal to dash dash. 7. Minus 35 plus minus 10 is equal to dash dash what do you observe is the sum of two integers always an integer did you find a pair of integers whose sum is not an integer since addition of integers gives integers we say integers are closed under addition. In general, for any two integers a and b, a plus b is an integer. 1.3.2 Closure under subtraction. What happens when we subtract an integer from another integer? Can we say that their difference is also an integer? Observe the following table and complete it. Statement Observation 1. 7 minus 9 is equal to minus 2. Result is an integer. 2. 17 minus minus 21 is equal to dash dash 3 minus 8 minus minus 14 is equal to 6 result is an integer 4 minus 21 minus minus 10 is equal to dash dash 5 32 minus minus 17 is equal to dash dash 6 minus 18 minus minus 18 is equal to dash dash 7 minus 29 minus 0 is equal to dash dash what do you observe is there any pair of integers whose difference is not an integer? Can we say 
integers are closed under subtraction? Yes, we can see that integers are closed under subtraction. Thus, if A and B are two integers, then A minus B is also an integer. Do the whole numbers satisfy this property? Page 7 1.3.3 Commutative property We know that 3 plus 5 is equal to 5 plus 3, which is equal to 8. That is, the whole numbers can be added in any order. In other words, addition is commutative for whole numbers. Can we say the same for integers also? We have 5 plus minus 6 is equal to minus 1 and minus 6 plus 5 is equal to minus 1. So, 5 plus minus 6 is equal to minus 6 plus 5. Are the following equal? 1. Minus 8 plus minus 9 and minus 9 plus minus 8. 2. Minus 23 plus 32 and 32 plus minus 23. 3. Minus 45 plus 0 and 0 plus minus 45. Try this with five other pairs of integers. Do you find any pair of integers for which the sums are different when the order is changed? Certainly not. We say that addition is commutative for integers. In general, for any two integers a and b, we can say a plus b is equal to b plus a. We know that subtraction is not commutative for whole numbers. Is it commutative for integers? Consider the integers 5 and minus 3. Is 5 minus minus 3 the same as minus 3 minus 5? No, because 5 minus minus 3 is equal to 5 plus 3, which is equal to 8. And minus 3 minus 5 is equal to minus 3 minus 5, which is equal to minus 8. Take at least five different pairs of integers and check this. We conclude that subtraction is not commutative for integers. 1.3.4 Associative Property Observe the following examples. Consider the integers minus 3, minus 2 and minus 5. Look at minus 5 plus within brackets, minus 3 plus minus 2 and within brackets, minus 5 plus minus 3 plus minus 2. In the first sum, minus 3 and minus 2 are grouped together and in the second, minus 5 and minus 3 are grouped together. We will check whether we get different results. We have the solution of both these shown on number lines. The first one shows minus 5 plus, within brackets, minus 3 plus minus 2. And the second one shows, within brackets, minus 5 plus minus 3 plus minus 2. Page 8. In both the cases we get minus 10. 
that is minus 5 plus within brackets minus 3 plus minus 2 is equal to within brackets minus 5 plus minus 2 plus minus 3. Similarly, consider minus 3, 1 and minus 7. Minus 3 plus within brackets 1 plus minus 7 is equal to minus 3 plus dash which is equal to dash within brackets minus 3 plus 1 plus minus 7 is equal to minus 2 plus dash which is equal to dash is minus 3 plus within brackets 1 plus minus 7 same as within brackets minus 3 plus 1 plus minus 7 take five more such examples you will not find any example for which the sums are different addition is associative for integers in general for any integers a b and c we can say a plus within brackets b plus c is equal to within brackets a plus b plus c 1.3.5 additive identity when we add zero to any whole number we get the same whole number zero is an additive identity for whole numbers is it an additive identity again for integers also observe the following and fill in the blanks 1 minus 8 plus 0 is equal to minus 8 2 0 plus minus 8 is equal to minus 8 3 minus 23 plus 0 is equal to dash 4 0 plus minus 37 is equal to minus 37 5 0 plus minus 59 is equal to dash 6 0 plus dash is equal to minus 43 7 minus 61 plus dash is equal to minus 61 8 dash plus 0 is equal to dash the above examples show that 0 is an additive identity for integers you can verify it by adding 0 to any other 5 integers in general for any integer a, a plus 0 is equal to a, which is equal to 0 plus a. Try these. 1. Write a pair of integers whose sum gives a, a negative integer, b, 0, c, an integer smaller than both the integers, d an integer smaller than only one of the integers e an integer greater than both the integers 2 write a pair of integers whose difference gives a a negative integer b 0 c an integer smaller than both the integers d an integer greater than only one of the integers e an integer greater than both the integers page 9 example 1 write down a pair of integers whose a sum is minus 3 b difference is minus 5 c difference is 2 
d sum is zero solution a minus one plus minus two is equal to minus three or minus five plus two is equal to minus three b minus nine minus minus four is equal to minus five or minus two minus three is equal to minus five c minus seven minus minus nine is equal to two or one minus minus one is equal to two d minus ten plus ten is equal to zero or five plus minus five is equal to zero can you write more pairs in these examples? Exercise 1.2 1. Write down a pair of integers whose a. sum is minus 7 b. difference is minus 10 c. sum is 0 2. a. Write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives 8 b. Write a negative integer and a positive integer whose sum is minus 5. c. Write a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus 3. 3. In a quiz, team A scored minus 40, 10, 0 and team B scored 10, 0 minus 40 in three successive rounds which teams scored more can we say that we can add integers in any order 4 fill in the blanks to make the following statements true 1 minus 5 plus minus 8 is equal to minus 8 plus dash 2 minus 53 plus dash is equal to minus 53 3 17 plus dash is equal to 0 4 within brackets 13 plus minus 12 plus dash is equal to 13 plus within brackets minus 12 plus minus 7 5 minus 4 plus within brackets 15 plus minus 3 is equal to within brackets minus 4 plus 15 plus dash you were just listening to the audiobook mathematics for class 7 narrator gaurav marva assistance in production Samya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India